6.33 now and happening today. It's a big night for the Valley. The Youngstown Parade and Tree Lighting is back. And this is the first time we've had the parade since COVID. First News reporter Kristen McFarland is live downtown to get us ready. Kristen, good morning. Good morning, Brandon and Chelsea. You couldn't have said it better. The wait is over. The day is here. The holiday parade and tree lighting is back here in Youngstown. It's chilly out, but we're bringing that festive Spirit getting ready for tonight. Now, many local businesses have been busy decorating since Friday. There's fronts and all of those holiday decorations. There's going to be a lot of activities, fun for the family, and many opportunities to get into that holiday spirit. Now, besides the holiday parade and tree lighting, there will also be a flea market and live music downtown. Businesses will compete in a decorating contest, so make sure not to miss all those beautiful storefronts. The parade will begin at 6 p.m. Starting at the center right here. You're going to march through downtown and end up back at the Cavelli Center. Immediately following the parade, tonight in Central Square. Now, with the parade comes some traffic changes in the downtown area that we want you to be mindful of. If you take a look at your screen, you can see the map. Both West Federal and Phelps Streets will be closed all day today. Roads for the parade route will close. 5 p.m. So remember that. Keep that in mind as you are traveling downtown here. This will include Champion Street, Vindicator Square, and Front Street. Event coordinators tell us parking will be available next to the Youngstown Foundation Amphitheater, lots next to the Cavelli Center, and there will be spots next to Commerce Street. Again, the parade will begin at the Cavelli Center and end here at the Cavelli Center. If you do decide to come out, give yourself some time to find parking so you can make it downtown so you won't miss anything. It is chilly. I'm hopeful we will see a little bit of that sunshine that we've seen on the forecast, but dress warm, hat, gloves, coat. There will be so much fun, a lot of festivities going on. The event coordinator says he's, he's expected to see around 10,000 people, so it's going to be busy and a great night. Live at the Cavelli Center, Chris McFarland, First News This Morning.